Did you know that more than 230 American companies filed bankruptcy, the highest tally for the first quarter of any year since 2010? Bankruptcy. A stunning fall. Major restructuring. Debt is piling up. Oh, home goods retailer famous for those big blue 20% off coupons is closing its we doors for good. We begin our report with the abrupt closures of three banks in a matter of days. No matter if you are from the USA or any other part of the world, this is something that has been happening right under the noses of everyone. With a serious yet simple lens, let us explore the harsh realities that lead individuals to the brink of financial collapse, shedding light on the challenges faced by their families, the workers, and ambitious entrepreneurs alike. The everyday job struggles, the pennies that really make ends meet these days, the widening gap between rich and poor, something that keeps rolling on and on. Bankruptcy just doesn't affect an organization or a giant that falls in business. These write-offs are commoners' money lended by banks. Yes, it's the average American. Your personal finance in the bankruptcy wildfire. Recent statistics reveal a staggering surge in bankruptcy filings with an increase of over 30% in the past two years alone. And that is just the beginning. Although this may not look concerning at first, until you realize it isn't the businesses that are going bankrupt, but the individual entities. Stay tuned because this is not just about the giants falling bankrupt, but it can affect our daily lives in every way possible. Level 1. Everyday Joes. Americans. Of course, it turns out to be a big problem for the government and the organization, but even more for the everyday Joes. The financial tightrope that everyday Americans are walking on is a fiery act of circus just with no net. Especially during the pandemic, all of the job losses, a critical factor in the bankruptcy surge, have hit hard, which left over 40 million individuals unemployed or underemployed. Worst part is, none has improved in Biden's administration. Let's talk a little more personally. Without a steady income, families grapple with the domino effect of their budgets. The mortgages go unpaid. Then the medical bills pile up, and the dreams of sending children to college slip even further away. The rising cost of healthcare, up by 20% increase in medical bankruptcy cases, not to mention the strain on households that already grapples with the economic fallout. The student loan crisis, an inescapable reality for millions, has now reached an unprecedented $1.7 trillion, creating a generation burdened by debt and facing the grim possibility of financial ruin. This is possibly one of the bigger problems that's gasoline to the fire of bankruptcy. Level 2. Entrepreneurs and Small Businesses Now, about entrepreneurs. Once the backbone of local economies, they now find themselves navigating treacherous waters, with small business bankruptcy soaring by 40%. As businesses shudder, communities lose not only sources of employment, but also the vibrancy and uniqueness that local enterprises bring. Locally, there is almost little to no push in manufacturing. While the U.S. Central Bank opted to maintain interest rates in June, which assured some stability in the economic landscape, the dark clouds of bankruptcy loomed large over the nation. But there has been a considerable hike in these rates since then, which does not seem to slow down at all. Startling data from Epic reveals a sharp surge in commercial Chapter 11 filings, with a staggering 2,973 cases documented in the first half of 2023 a stark contrast to the 1,766 filings during the equivalent period last year. Simultaneously, individual Chapter 13 submissions experienced a notable 23% spike, underlining the pervasive financial challenges faced by Americans. Adding to the financial troubles, small businesses grappling with the economic aftermath witnessed a frightening 55% surge in bankruptcy filings, and they all fall under the sub-Chapter V elections within Chapter 11. As the U.S. Central Bank contemplates future interest rate hikes, these alarming statistics paint a sobering picture of economic realities. There seems to be an apparent disconnection between monetary policy and, of course, the ground-level financial struggles. This definitely suggests a complex web of challenges, with the aftershocks of the pandemic and economic uncertainties leaving an indelible mark on the nation's financial health. Level 3. Organizations, Companies, and Governments The State of United States Nowadays, it's like a giant game where companies are players and right now it's a bit of a tug-of-war level competition, especially for those selling things like clothes and gadgets. Here's the real deal. 
almost 591 companies in the US had to hit the pause button and say we need a break by filing for bankruptcy this year. The most considerable phase came in the second quarter of the year, which really pushed the rates for daily groceries even higher. More stores might go bankrupt in the US next year because prices keep going up and interest rates are high, but things might get a bit better in the second half of 2024 when the government might make it easier to borrow money. This year, 591 US companies have already said they can't pay their debts, which is the highest since 2020, according to S&P Global Market Intelligence. The chief market strategist at B. Riley Wealth, Art Hogan, thinks that the number of bankruptcies went up because interest rates were really low for a long time, but now they're going back to normal. However, he also thinks that things might get better in the future. However, there's a simple twist in the plot. Even though things might get better, there is a chance that a global economic slowdown could still cause more companies to face challenges. This was stated in one of the recent studies of IMF. Even famous stores like Bed Bath & Beyond have asked for help because it doesn't have enough money to pay its bills. They filed for bankruptcy protection in New Jersey saying they have between $1 billion and $10 billion in debts and assets. Even though they're in financial trouble, the stores and website will stay open for now. The company couldn't get the money it needed to keep going, so they're trying to sell some or all of their stuff to pay off their debts. This happened because people weren't buying as much from them and their money situation got worse. As we already said, some experts predict that retail will be a hot topic next year for bankruptcies because some stores that made a lot of money during the pandemic are now struggling. Downfall had a sure shot reason. It was due to immense stockpiling which was followed by tremendous sales and now a sales drought, especially the sudden surge in stock value of the company. Not everyone meets the same fate. Some companies might team up with the others instead of facing these tough times alone. Experts think we might see more of these team-ups called M&A deals next year. But where does all the recent bankruptcy blame lie? Why is it happening so often? The Pandemic Circus Tracking back to when the pandemic hit and suddenly our work world got flipped upside down. Offices turned into ghost towns and everyone became a video call pro overnight. Zoom meetings became our new hangout spots and wearing fancy pants was optional because, well, who could see them on Zoom? It was a wild ride adjusting to work from home life where our living rooms transformed into makeshift offices and pets became our coworkers. But hey, as tough as it was, some folks found the silver lining. They got to skip the commute wear pajamas to meetings, and have their own snack stash. Now, as we step into the post-pandemic era, the work landscape is like a hybrid mix, with some going back to the office dance, while others keep rocking the home office vibes. It's a whole new work adventure where flexibility and balance are the cool kids on the block. The bankruptcy boom isn't just a random fireworks show. It's got some economic sparks behind it. Picture this, the pandemic slammed the brakes on global trade and travel, leaving businesses in a financial traffic jam. Supply chain hiccups played a role too. When stuff can't get where it needs to be, businesses feel the pinch. How it stands today, bankruptcies. In the opening months of 2023, it seems like US companies are facing a bit of a tough patch in their financial game. According to data from S&P Global Market Intelligence, the number of corporate bankruptcies is on the rise, hitting the highest count for the first two months since 2011. February saw 57 bankruptcy petitions, following 54 in January, making it the highest monthly total since March 2021. This surge in bankruptcies comes after a pretty slow year in 2022, but now many financial experts are predicting a bit of a downturn in the economy for 2023. S&P Global Ratings even expects more companies with lower ratings to struggle, pointing to challenges like shrinking corporate earnings, higher unemployment, and stricter monetary policies. In simpler terms, it's like companies are facing tougher levels in their financial game this year. Interest rates, which are like the cost of playing the game, are staying high, and experts don't see them dropping much by the end of the year. This means it's getting more expensive for companies to play, and some might find it hard to keep up. So it's not the easiest time in the financial world, and we'll have to see how companies navigate these challenges in the coming months. Why does the fall of giants matter, even to us? The ripple effects of these bankruptcies extend far beyond corporate boardrooms, reaching into the pockets and lives of everyday Americans. 
The collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008 triggered a domino effect, plunging the global economy into a recession. Lehman Brothers, once the fourth largest U.S. investment bank with 25,000 employees globally, collapsed during the 2007-2008 financial crisis. With $639 billion in assets and $613 billion in liabilities, it symbolized the problems caused by the housing market crash, resulting in around $10 trillion in lost economic output. As businesses crumbled, unemployment soared, retirement accounts dwindled, and homes were lost in the wake of the subprime mortgage crisis. The Enron scandal shook investor confidence, leading to increased scrutiny and tighter regulations that aimed to protect individuals from fraudulent corporate practices. Detroit's bankruptcy in 2013 reflected the struggles of an entire city, with public services slashed, pensions jeopardized, and the quality of life for residents drastically impacted. This has been a tale of repeating times. It's not something new. In fact, Donald Trump's personal bankruptcy showcased the vulnerability of even the wealthiest individuals in the face of economic downturns, shows the interconnected nature of financial systems. Not once or twice, it has happened about four to six times, all of them in a snap. A great example of which was Trump's Taj Mahal, which had gone bankrupt in just a year of span. It's not that these bankruptcies always come in a flash. Toys R Us's collapse not only left employees jobless, but also signaled the changing landscape of retail, affecting consumers and the job market. The issue of individual medical bankruptcies underscores the pressing need for comprehensive healthcare reform as families grapple with financial ruin due to exorbitant medical costs. The subprime mortgage crisis, a systemic failure, resulted in a loss of homes, jobs, and financial security for countless Americans. Verdict. In essence, these bankruptcies are not isolated incidents. They are interconnected chapters in a narrative of financial instability that touches every corner of society, reminding us of the delicate balance between corporate decisions and the well-being of individuals. Wrapping up for today, we genuinely believe this video holds keys to improve your financial game. And there's more videos on the way, especially on the finance world right now. If it clicked for you, show some love with a thumbs up. Subscribe now to unlock a wealth of insights because, spoiler alert, a game-changing video is headed your way soon. Secure your financial journey and stay tuned.